May of 1999 saw the destruction of more than 5,000 acres of forest in the Tower Lake wildfire in western Marquette County. 13 years later, evidence of the blaze remains, but the environment becomes greener with each season. Mixed in amongst all these charred remains. Pete Glover of the Department of Natural forest. Resources remembers fighting the fire. At the time that the fire took place here, it was uh, quite devastating. It was uh, headline news, and, and the town of Champion was evacuated, and it was... Uh, you know, it had a great impact on the community. Now the forest is fresh with aspen and birch trees more than 20 feet high. Even a dead tree can be useful to forests. Dead pine trees like this one serve as a home for insects and a feeding ground for birds. And when the trees fall, the nutrients seep into the ground, expediting new growth. Different plants in various stages of growth tend to attract more wildlife. A diverse forest means a healthy forest, and so um, although the effects of fire to humans is sometimes devastating uh, to the environment, it can kind of reset the clock and rejuvenate the forest. South of Ishpeming, the Flat Rock wildfire burned 62 acres in May, but now the ground is covered in new ferns. With wild blueberries and mushrooms hiding underneath, Glover expects the same will happen to the forest affected by the Duck Lake wildfire in Luce County. These pictures, courtesy of Tom Delasky IV, were taken recently from an area in Luce County ravaged by wildfire. There are already some signs of new growth, but it will be many years before there's more green than black. Dustin Bonk, TV6 News. Landscape for many thousands of years here in the UP.